Now we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. Hey, okay, Chris. I don't want no issues, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want to do nothing, bro. Like, 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 please, bro. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with C? Who wants smoke, want smoke with me? Who wants Okay, let's get down to the facts, pussy, I'm dripping red. Don't let this r b shit fool you, niggas get ripped to shreds. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga, you a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that bullshit you talking, you ain't no hunto, nigga. You the weakest link out of your clique, let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex, ho, that's cool, I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch, I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit, don't let that lie go over your head I might just sing about that shit I had a feeling about that dick, there's something sweet about that shit I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit I ain't playing chess with a checker player I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator I shit on niggas, I'm a defecator I put Amigo on a ventilator Stop talking about beating girls You was beating bitches on the elevator We seen the taste, that's devastating You doing bad, you a bitch in your music trash Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass I was truly mad All I kept thinking about was breaking your face But I gave you a pass You lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money up Boy, I would've broke you in half Quit trying to be tough, you ain't like that Why you keep showing up? Quit talking about drugs, you the only pack that I've been smoking on I just hit my plug, told them come back I'ma need more than one. Your last album was a weed trade. That's some bullshit that we roll up on. You know what's on. Put you to bed. Night, night, that's to the fed. Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Trying to prove what you just said. R.I.P. Take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You trippy, Chris. Don't say that. Don't lose your head. Damn. You done turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas. Never knew revenge. This what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You gon' kiss this ring, nigga. Big fuck you from my middle finger. I tattoo my trigger finger Bring real beat to your dinner table My mental state ain't never stable I know this shit gon' sting, nigga I ran your ass through the ringer, nigga You just got body by a singer, nigga Bitch Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with C? Who wanna... Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna... This is not just a stop... How y'all feeling, man? I want to give some shots out. Uh, T Sizzle, uh, Vet, and everybody that you know send me donations when I was in the belly of the beast. I very much appreciate it. I very much appreciate it. I really do. You know, I was able to uh, talk with my my family, my friends, you know, with all the donations that I got. And it, and it surprised me, like, donations went through the roof. You know, it, it just reminded me that even though people, you know, claim the fame is they left uh, an organization that's about the due process rights of all individuals, uh, it is still people that's, that's 1,000% still in my corner, still got love for Dibowski, and I very, very much appreciate that. Oh, uh, man. I very much appreciate that. Uh, I won't be getting into the, uh, the back and forth garbage. You know what I mean? I won't be getting into the back and forth garbage. Uh, I'm in good hands, good hands, uh, 
and I'm, you know, I don't trust the process. It, you know, I already know what the process is going to be uh, because I'm in good hands. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm in State Farm hands right now. You know, shout out to my lawyer. Uh, you know, me and my lawyer, we got history. We go, we go way back, way back, like uh, at least 15 years history between the two of us. So I know that, you know, he aware of my family. You know, he was around before some of my kids. Uh, I was around when he caught cancer, when he went through his, his radiation uh, therapy. And, uh, you know, we both have been through trials and triumphs together in, in this thing of life. So, you know. I know he cares about me, not just as a client, but as a person, you know. And uh, I got a chance to chop it up with him. Friday, I think I talked to him. Uh, and we got a chance to, you know, chop it up, go over a few things, and, you know. I updated him on a few things. He updated me on a few things. And, you know, we on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, I originally thought that when I spoke to him that uh, it would be, you know, oh, Chris, what have you got yourself into? I can't do anything about this. But everything is copacetic. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not stressing about the situation at all. Uh, and you know, just trust the process, go through the process, and, you know, it'll be what it's going to be. I'm not, you know, there's nothing that, that I'm stressing about. Uh, I do want to just say for the record that my license is clear and valid. Uh, I don't know where those traffic tickets came from because I was cleared of all those traffic tickets that, you know, people saw online. I was cleared of all those traffic tickets by defending myself and uh, was able to secure a victory uh, with 12 jurors, you know, prior to current situations. I uh, defended myself and came out on top. So I, I don't know why those uh, tickets was uh, online or anything like that. I, I don't know what that was about. Uh, but yeah, my license is clear and valid. You know, so far the only ticket I got is uh, what, what we all know about. Other than that, man, I don't get driving tickets and all that crazy stuff. I don't play about my license. You know, I take uh, driving as a serious matter. You know, I go a lot of places, contrary to popular belief. So I take, you know, being on the road and, you know, driving and stuff like that, you know, serious. Um, we have all seen what the media can do when uh, they use their power to be a propagandized machine. So when you read stuff, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. You know, I read that article, and it says that I uh, lit a rag and put it in someone's car. It's absolutely a lie. Uh, I had a co-defendant in that situation. My co-defendant, I believe, was a minor at the time. But uh, they was identified, not me. So that, that story was incorrect. Uh, but again, the media propagandized machine will put anything on anybody. And, you know, the, the, the sad part about it all is I walked the streets several times for due process rights of all people. And here I am in a situation and people didn't even afford me 
the same right that I would walk the streets and demand that you have, which is the presumption of innocence, which I'm entitled to. And, uh, you know, until you see the, you know, until the fat lady on, on, that, on, on, on the field singing, uh, I would, you know, as Mr. Due Process himself, hope that all people will afford me the opportunity to be presumed innocent and to, you know, proven otherwise. You know what I mean? Uh, there's so many things that, you know, could take place. And uh, I'd rather be facing, you know, this situation than facing situations that could take place. You know what I mean? So, you know, when I think of breaking the law, I always think of somebody that made a choice to do something like uh, sell drugs, rob somebody, hurt somebody, shoot somebody, take something from somebody. But in this uh, new millennium world, it don't take much for you to be charged with a crime. It don't take much at all. Uh, I recently seen Donald Trump uh, mumble something uh, in one of his court situations. And I don't see him taking the long ride. <laughs> I don't see him sitting in the belly of the beast for 40 something days. I do think that uh, it was necessary for me to go through that situation because it's been so long since I've been uh, arrested on a local charge that I wasn't aware of no cash bonds and things of that nature. I, I just wasn't aware of it. I hadn't been in uh, that county jail in, in years. So uh, when I had the opportunity to find out what cash bond, no cash bond is about and stuff like that, I'm glad that I was a candidate to, you know, receive that because there's a lot of people that's not a candidate to receive that. And if you can't receive a, a safety act release, then you uh, more than likely would be stuck there. So, you know, I'm used to you get locked up, they give you a bond, you pay the bond, you go home. If that would have been the case in this situation, I would have most definitely been home a lot sooner than later. I want to speak on this this uh, this shingles situation. Not that uh, you know I care to clear up anything for anybody, but I know it's people that are concerned about me. So I you know this is for for them. Uh, I was using this right here. Can you see this? This is the deodorant that they uh, give out to you before they, you know, allow you to be able to purchase your own. And I was using this deodorant. Come in this little package, you peel open the package, put it on your finger, put it under your arm. And that shit uh, set off a reaction on me that was powerful as, as far as, you know, at first I thought it was some big bug or something bit me. So I'm like, hey, man, you know, I think a big bug bit me. I'm thinking lawsuit, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking lawsuit, like, hold on, big bug bit me. I know I've been here washing my ass. What, the, what, what is this? Oh, no, that's not a big bug. Well, is it a spider? No, it's not a spider. It looked like shingles. Shingles? Yeah, we're going to put you over here. You have a shower in your room. Got a TV right in front of your door. I'm going to, you know, listen to their suggestions. And I went along with their suggestions. But I'm going to get a suggestion of my own shortly. Uh... I don't understand what the uh, 
vaccination with some people in, in, in jail is, but you talking to a man that's not proud to say it, but I've been encountering jail since I was a kid. You know what I mean? If I didn't have children, going to jail wouldn't even bother me because it's been a part of life. You know, when I walked the streets and, and did everything I did uh, in support of R. Kelly, it was also in support of things that I have been through myself. So when people say, oh, you chasing clout, you chasing clout, look at everything you done seen me go through in the last four, five years. Look at everything you done seen me go through in the last four, five years. And then ask yourself, would I speak out when I see it happen to somebody else? Now, what do they got to do with clout chasing? Everybody else that's speaking on the situation, how many of them have been through the situation they self. Not many. I feel like Lazarus right now. Do y'all know the story of Lazarus? I feel like Lazarus. You know, Lazarus was dead. And Jesus brought him back from the dead. I always wonder about Lazarus and knowing that he walked through the gates of death. He has seen what was on the other side and then he returned to life. And I wonder what kind of man was he afterwards? How did the world look to him? And how did he look at the world after seeing death and, and, and coming back into life? I just seen people that that's, that's not going to get out. I seen a uh, a uh, uh, intelligent guy that was shot by the police multiple times. And uh, I was listening to a situation. He was telling me about a situation, telling me how they planted evidence and stuff like that because they had to clear up and clean up a botched investigation. And you know, jail is not anything that is uh, new. Jail is not anything that will change the outcome of a person. Jail is not anything that will uh, make or break you if your mind is strong. Because in any situation that you're in, when it comes to something like that, you should take that time to be a better use to yourself, your family, and your community as a whole. When I was a juvenile, they always told me that a day of being in the belly of the beast may come. And I've seen many of those days. But they also told me, if it does come, make sure you use your time constructively. You know, a lot of people sit in there and want to eat the commissary and uh, play on the, 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 the tablets and, you know, get caught off into the comfortability of the environment that they create for you. I sit and use my time in the law library. I'm putting together some, some real critical things in the future to restore not only my name, 
but the name of several people who have donated to my channel, donated uh, to my gatherings, came out to support me on, on, on several several different endeavors. Uh, when it came to due process rights of, of all individuals. And, you know, what you see here is, is, is just a cover sheet of what you're going to be able to read, uh, I'm guessing in about 15 days, that will lay out uh, that a deferred prosecution is, is not, oh, you took a deferred prosecution, you took the, all of this is going to be cleared and checked. See, everyone is entitled to their own opinions. We all are entitled to our own opinions. And everybody is entitled to say how they feel. It is no coincidence that the First Amendment right is your freedom of speech. It's no coincidence to that. It's no coincidence to that. And nobody is above uh, you being entitled to your opinion. Nobody is above you being entitled to your opinion. Now, uh, I'm hoping that uh, Hundred and twenty days, maybe ninety days, maybe sixty days. This this whole debacle is uh, a moment that passes. It says in Proverbs, I don't I don't remember exactly what chapter in Proverbs, but it says, "Thrice armed is he who causes jets." Let me rephrase that. Twice armed is he who calls his jest. Thrice armed is the one who gets in the first blow. 30 rounds, man. And, and I know a lot of people that heard me say 30 rounds, and they take my interpretation of what I'm saying and, and come out with their own dialogue of it. And and that's cool, but when I say 30 rounds, it's 30 rounds of stamina, integrity, and the truth. It is people that that you know get off on some of the most stupidest things. The most stupidest things. I listen to uh the mass man Larry go on and on and on and on and on and on and on about my situation. I would never be on no damn probation, parole for five years. I would never agree to no shit like that. A state charge and a federal charge is two different things. Do you know if you get a state charge and it ain't a violent crime, they put you out on work release? You go home on the damn weekends? I'm just saying. But I see a lot of people celebrating the most, again, stupidest shit. People going to jail every day. Every day. I don't know if you, know, you believe it or you. Or you don't believe, but people go to jail every day. It's nothing new. I'm not the reason that Larry defrauded Synchrony Bank. I didn't root for him to go to jail. I just thought it was funny that you was on YouTube rooting for someone else to go to jail. And you did. I have no time to pick up the phone and 
call people pre-trial services or any of that. But if you choose to, that's your decision. I myself, I don't got the time for it. And I don't care who, you know, who does, but where's your life? Where's your life? I seen Janine uh, came out into the chat. She had comments she wanted to say about me. And I seen the uh, insinuation and direct and indirect disrespect to T-Baby from, you know, uh, Larry and, and uh, Levi. And, and I get it. I get it. But uh, when a man comes on the internet and says, I got a body done. I got a body done. I got the receipts for it. I mean, this your wife? And you get on the internet? And speak on her with a receipt. It amazes me that you can be an advocate for victims of sexual abuse and sex trafficking and things of that nature. Refer to your wife with a receipt on her body parts. Now, I know that I can ball out with a mug, get mad at a person, but you would never hear me say, hey, I got a receipt for your body. Shit, I got a receipt for my Jordans. I got a receipt for the clothes I bought. I got a receipt for my underwear. But when your husband refer to you and say, he has a receipt, of your body. When a man feels that I'm going to jail and now is the time to, to marry you. Why wasn't that marriage just as important before jail was on the table? Before jail was on the table, why wasn't marriage something that was already done? I always hear this man referring to, he said he has sodomized my daughter. Your daughter a grown woman. If she choose to allow me to sodomize her, wouldn't that be her choice? Your daughter ain't your daughter. She has a father. And her father is not you. I know that you're not the father of that woman. Because no father will touch their daughter's breasts the way that we seen Larry touch his daughter's breasts. I mean, when you hug a person, you put your arms around their they waist they shoulders, they stomach. But what would make you take one hand from around the waist and put the other hand on their breasts? I know that uh, it's all good to crack jokes and, 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 and drag and everything like that, but I just don't understand. Why you would hug your own stepdaughter and bundle her breasts? These are facts. These, these are facts. And, you know, when you see people that uh, are stepfathers, Stepmothers, 
doing things like that to their stepkids, then you have to ask yourself, what type of parent is Janine? Uh, you go to prison and people pass a cup around for your family. For your family needs. Right? You you say that people should sue my children's mother. But you would never say somebody should sue your children's mother because your children's mother is someone you brag that hasn't had a job in over 10 years. And obviously, a body ain't all of that because not only do you have a receipt for it, but you have a defected child out of the situation. It's crazy. I said uh, this to myself a lot of days. I seek refuge with the Lord of the dawn from the mischief of the created things, from the mischief of darkness is it overspreads, from the mischief of those who practice secret arts, and from the mischief of envious ones that practice envy. It's amazing how people want to be involved in my situation, but I don't see how you were involved in a situation where choices was made and nobody looked around to either one of you and asked, is this a good choice to make or not a good choice to make, but some type of way you feel involved in the choices that was made when you was never part of the decision. I understand it. I, I get it. Now, I see that Angie Walker and, and uh, Levi is uh, having a disagreement. But I was beginning to wonder, did Angie ever realize that this man plight to defend R. Kelly has extended to him writing letters on attorneys that he hasn't paid for, uh, calling people terrorists, that school teachers and first responders, uh, defaming and everything else that we have seen him do while calling everybody but himself the cyber terrorists. Ask yourself, how did these people even know my situation? I mean, I had a court date that I didn't even know about. And and this guy goes live and talk about a court date that, that wasn't even on the schedule. I watched Fat Boy call the county jail and and inquire about me. But he has me in his police report with Sylvia. So why would you be going to court saying I'm stalking you and harassing you but you're calling the county jail recording the conversation and replaying it you don't call federal public defenders you don't uh, call dead people family members involving yourself in that and I wouldn't be shocked if several of these people have took the time to, to, to reach out to Becky. And no one in their mind see their actions 
is cyber stalking, cyber harassment, cyber bullying. See, it's one thing to speak your opinion. It's another thing to call circuit clerks inquiring about people, call people legal representation, call people uh, judges and, you know, get overly involved in someone else's situation that, that you're not a part of. See, in two weeks, this cover letter that you see here will be my declaration, not only to my innocence of what we all saw me go through with the federal government, but also for the innocence of people who utilize their First Amendment right to peacefully assemble that was infringed on. Several of our protesters was threatened. Uh, in fact, the bomb threat was called in on one of them. Uh, there will be no August 19th rally on my, on my mother's grave, according to Levi. Uh, the, the posting of government evidence, the uh, federal public defender putting the court on notice of people's behavior, of posting uh, their contact information, pretrial contact information. Uh, the question of was a deferred prosecution, some agreement that I made that I, where I lost, I, I was guilty of something will no longer be a question that I have to explain uh, or anyone else. It would all be uh, open to the public to, to, to see for themselves that uh, not only was I an innocent man, but I was swatted several, several, several occasions. You know, it amazes me when I see people like uh, The guy over there we we seen on YouTube cry about his mother. Uh, somebody's threatening his mother. He got to go to the FBI about his mother. He make a police report about his mom. His mom make a police report. If you go to these extremes to uh, want a peace of mind, where you would go and wake your mother up to make police reports, it should be nothing that you should be concerned about when it comes to me. It should be nothing that you should put in your mouth about me, whether good or bad. Like, to be honest with you, I despise you. I despise you as a spineless coward. So uh, any concern that you have about any situation of, of, of mine is unbelievable to me. Because I wouldn't care about anything other than uh, the final call for a lot of you people. The final call for a lot of you people. I, I wouldn't give a damn what you got going on. But uh, if you have donated to my channel uh, before I was arrested, there's a possibility that you may be able to seek compensation about your bank accounts and addresses and personal information being ran through by the government. Uh, I'm really, really, you know, excited to, you know, get everything together. Uh, I've been in talks with several people, you know, uh, about the, the approach that I'm going to take with the situation. But yeah, in, in about two weeks, you'll be able to uh, pull it up on Pacer and, and read it yourself. Uh, it will be filed in New York as well as uh, Chicago, federally. Uh, if, you know, you just seen the situation that I went through over, you know, whatever is alleged and you have seen what these people have been doing for the last three, four years. 
what's worse what they're accusing me of or what you have seen these people on youtube doing to me and my family creating a hostile environment for me and my family uh, taking time out that day to paint me as an unintelligent individual a terrorist someone that threatens people and all of these things that they uh go out of their way to create as narratives. It's been blasted on YouTube videos as viewed by over a thousand people. You know, we don't know how many people walk away from that with the belief that I'm an unstable individual. And, you know, it's time for the defamation and the cyber harassment to come to a head. Uh, I thought that my last conversation with uh, Mr. McGee, he said that I needed him for content. Not only did he say I needed him for content, but he said that I have no other things to talk about but him. And I left that conversation and began to create content about uh, the mayor of Dalton, uh, the Bolingbrook police officer, the Baltimore police squad that, that beat a black man and, and moved on uh, with my life and creating content unrelated. But as of recently, it seems that he must have forgot about what, what he said. Where am I? You wait. Now bring your ass up here. Wait, 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 Debo. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Debo. If he come up here, I'll let hey, him talk Larry. like a man. I love Larry. I love you too, Debo. Let's yeah. talk like a man. Let's talk Let's talk uh, man to man. Hey. Because I want, because you no, did this back in the day, bro, and he not here to speak for himself, uh, so let me speak for him. Up. Okay. He coming up. There's Larry. We going viral, y'all. Hold on. Yeah, we going viral. I'm tired of you. Uh, but you going to press charges on me, bro? Man, listen, man. You ain't oh, no y'all got studios and shit. I ain't right, never hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me get my shit together right quick. Hold on. Debo. Debo. Hold on, Hot Rod. This shit is next to business. Yeah, no. you been, he, he wants my attention. He begs for it every day. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you what Black you want. History. I'm going to give you what you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Grow up, nigga. The man, let me say you're going to let me talk. Listen, a nigga that's from my neighborhood, off the block, listen, mm -hmm. hold on, off the block, he comes to me and tells me that his fucking little cousin is dibbling and dabbling in my world, okay? <laughs> I, look out, I look out for him. When, mm. I get, when I get to him, he got a lot more issues going on on 55th. Which mm. is stone, which is stone territory, right? Twins mm. over there. You don't know the twins, twins over. How the fuck you gonna tell me? Let me Weird. tell you how. Let me tell you how. No, 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 you. no, 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 no. Okay. It's not, you say you gonna let me talk? Okay. Put the man in position. Started making money. He would get the money and go jump back in his lane. He would get fucked over by them people over there, right? He would come back, and now he's in debt with me. Okay. He would make it right. I'm not saying he was a bad person about business. I'm just saying that the nigga would listen. Okay? He would come back. He would get right. <laughs> I left and went to Atlanta. He called me and told me he was in jail. I sent him the money, and I told him the money was contingent upon him coming to Atlanta. I showed you the pictures of him in Atlanta mm -hmm. calling me Big mm -hmm. L. I, told, I sent you the pictures of him calling me Big L. I sent you an Onyx. I sent you the rental car I gave him. I sent you the money I gave him. I sent you him being at a fire. This is what I don't understand about this whole attachment that he's tried to attach himself to someone that's, that's, that's dead. Someone that lived in my house three years. This man went to Atlanta one time. I've seen him every day for years. But you got a whole 
relationship in two different states. In two different states. One that we have to repeat over and over and over and over. But I'm going to say this. I don't give a damn what you had with that man. You ain't have it with me. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm not a car cracker. I'm not a scammer. I never was. Never have been. So anything that you had going on illegally with other people that's doing illegal activities have nothing at all to do with me and you attaching yourself with someone that I know still does not mean I know you. It still does not mean you know me. And I just want to state that for the record. I star hotel and going to dinner for a whole week. And then he went to go and see Rick Ross. I also showed you Dutch Schultz off the west side with Rick Ross and Nipsey Hussle. Okay. Okay. Now can I respond? No, you can't. I gave him what he needed in order to be successful. It didn't work out. His attention, his focus wasn't there. And I've done that with at least 50 people up there. Can I you don't know what the, no, 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 no. This this one I'm gonna tell you. I've been to every nightclub, and I ain't gonna say every nightclub. I've been to a couple of nightclubs downtown with him. I've been mm. in the hood with him on several blocks. Mm. I've been to birthday parties, I've been there, I've been out of town with him, all kind of shit. Video shoots for his rap career he was trying to do. Mm. I've, I've been to that. I didn't see you at any of that shit. Mm. So I don't mm. even know if you know him or if you just found the picture. You mm. say you're gonna go get mm. his baby mama, you should do that. Mm, She'll mm, tell mm. you what she told me because <laughs> when they used to be sitting in my living room on 50th in Michigan with my wife there and other people, and uh, you know what I'm gonna do for you? Mm -hmm. I called him already. Okay, I called mm -hmm. him right here. Call who? I ain't gonna put his name. His cousin. Let's see the answer. We can sell this right now. Okay, what's we'll yeah? It. Shut up! No, just shut up! Just shut mm -hmm. up! Because I'm tired of you. Uh -huh. You irritating. I, uh, and after this, let me talk. You irritating. Cause I'm, I'm, I can't call on you this phone and be on it at the same time. But I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you come and hear me talk. You've been wanting to get into. It. I'm not gonna argue with you. Well, you ain't gonna get a chance. What I'm saying, I won't you, do it. You, you trying to, you want to argue, man? You, you don't want to let me respond. Early, you're annoying. You're go very for it. Annoying. Get it all out your chest. You're annoying. You're annoying. Can I respond? Can I no, respond? You don't have nothing to respond about. You talking about me and my business with another man. That's Can I respond? For that he ain't tell you about. You I'm going to get to my iPhone right now. But can I respond? Let's start no. with the let's start with Dutch no. Show. Let's let's start with Dutch Show. Let's start with it. Okay. Then he died. Yep. Hard okay. Okay. Now time? let's yep. go. Let's go to uh Bodil brother. And he Bodil, then he died. No. I didn't know about deal. I know about okay, deal. I, 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 no, no, okay, no. Hold, let me clear that up. Hold no, no, no. Let me clear that up. I dated the first lady of his record label with Brick Squad and Waka Flocka. He's coming. Do you know who house. was my Wait, girl before that was? I don't. My, I don't, I don't, I don't care. About the light skin. You want me to pull the pictures that, up? I'm talking about the tall, light skin. Okay, go for it. Way back then. Okay, I, he, I was with her when she got the tattoo. He used to come pick her up at my house in the van. Okay, but they the shot their video across the street from okay, my auntie house. I don't care nothing about none of that. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I just want you to man, I ain't gonna say, right? You were talking about my life and what I did, but mm -hmm. you can't now, show or now, talk let, about let me anything. respond. All this you're talking about doesn't okay, say can that. I no, respond? I want to know more about Cookie. Where's Cookie let, from? Let, let me respond. Is right? it Cookie off Empire? Let me respond. You you looking for cookie probably for the federal government, so I, I can't uh, you know I can't reveal these type of people. But you got, you ain't let me respond though. Let, let me, you let ain't me have respond. Thousand in your life. Shut up. Okay. You now if, if I'm able to respond, go get the person who take care of you. Let me talk to them. Go get who paid. Do you want her to tell you get, how no, she go told get, Dust Show before go he passed get, away? Go get. Go Do you get, want her? Okay, oh, I'm gonna let you talk. The person who paid a light bill, okay? I shouldn't have to talk to you. You don't bear no responsibilities in your house. Why have I to argue with you all day? I should be arguing with the person who paid the lights and the water and the gas and the cell phone and 
who pay the insurance. Who okay, the okay. Pay. So listen, listen, Open listen. The head of the household. Okay, now, now with that being said, yeah. if I go wake up the the person of the household, uh -huh. and she tells you that uh -huh. she helped Bo Deal, Rocker Flocker. I don't care Tra about that. Hold on, let me talk, cause you go. Oh, you about to make me that's wake up at. Hold that's on, shut your money. bitch ass up. That's day money. No, because you told me go get the person of the house, no, right? You money. want you no no no. If you that's want the person money. of the house, then no no no. I be worried, I be if, about if you want no no no, bitch no, ass no, up, no, cause we about to wake up, bitch. No, shut your ass up. Do you want me to wake up? We just graduated and made. They was going to kidnap and fuck over. You ran your bitch ass to Atlanta because you knew they was going to fuck you over. Cash didn't want to keep fucking with Ben Man Cabo because he knew Ben Man Cabo was already into some bullshit. So he went and got up with you and did some business with you in Atlanta. You never met me in your life, but this man stayed in my house for damn near four fucking years. You never even been in my fucking house and this nigga stayed oh, in my I house for four fucking house. years. You telling me that you was finna get him out of Cook County Jail when my I baby did. mama got him out of Cook County Jail, bitch nigga? Not that time. Yeah, that, it was only one time the, time the nigga got um, caught with fucking yeah. weed in his fucking pocket on 56 and fucking wood right in front of my fucking crib. I was looking at him when they took his ass off down the fucking street. I called my fucking baby mama. We went down there to the fucking Cook County jail. They took him to DOC, bitch. You a fucking liar. You're lying. You're lying. You a fucking liar. You're a liar. Yeah, man, you work for the government. You're you work for the you government. Listen, why you can't get none of these people on the phone then? I was about to, but you want to... I'm not about to put it's somebody on the years. phone to be disrespected. It's been four years. If I put somebody on the phone, don't disrespect them. Man, I don't disrespect people. Somebody All right. Has, so if, I, if I'm going to wake somebody out, they, give me about... I just want to keep bullshit going. Hey. This Is you gonna let a motherfucker talk or not? At a hotel, man, I don't give a fuck about that, bro. This him at this him right. at that club, yeah. right? I, I, was, I was at this shit. This him. Hey, look, this I, 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 woke, I woke a motherfucker okay. up. Then he tell me if I wake a motherfucker up, he gonna let them talk. You know what I am. Let's but go. you gonna be a bitch. I'm locked up in Cook County. What Where year? Was we what at? year? What year? It was only one time he got locked up. The man. What year? What year? This right here, I'm gonna man, tell you this, right now. That's how I know you don't know what the uh, fuck you talking uh, about. Uh, the on. man only got locked hold up on. one fucking hold time. Man, listen, that man was in the streets. Probably got jammed up. That man only person. got locked up yeah, one time bro. when bro. he got out. He got locked up one Why time, went to jail. Oh, so bitch ass, shut the fuck up. 26 this, because days. you want to keep on talking shit, listen, bro. This, 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 this January. You have, listen. He came to down there. Man, city. look, man. Oh, Skip all that 20. shit. Nobody even cares. Nobody even cares. How long? How long did Cash be live lying. with me? No, don't skip. Dog. Go back to that question. You say you got because you won't let me answer it. You're a bitch ass one. Okay, shut, shut up. Cash went to jail. You know, I ain't do that, bitch. You finally got to come. Hey, look, I told with the judge, happy? fuck him. I told the judge, fuck him. I told you? the I'm judge, a, fuck him, nigga. Still, bro. On my mama, still on my kids, still, I told the judge, still, fuck him. Hey, that nigga let, hey, that nigga leave, I said. That nigga leave, I said. Why the fuck y'all ain't take this man to jail? He told y'all, fuck you. Ooh, leave, I ain't never man. seen a nigga like that. Ooh, no, man. when you innocent, you ain't got a deal. When you innocent, you ain't got to worry about shit. Ooh, big man. You committed the crime. I you couldn't do that. the time. Hey, yeah. But hold you, on, you, man. You, you yeah. Over, you over you stole out girl. your co-defendant. You got to live with that. Come on, man. Hey, look. You should get security. I would. I, I would. You think I would you have my kids security. out here? Oh, you must have seen what happened. Just, hey, look. No, you gonna be, you gonna be. You going to be THF TP. Everybody go get the video of uh, THFTP. That's going to be you. Nah, they ain't going to be Go you, look buddy. up THFTP, y'all. Like, go look it up. 
that's T-H-L. probably going to be you. T-P. That's, that's going to be you. you. That's, that's going to be you. Be I don't got to do that. I don't got to do that. You know why I got to do that? You know why I got to do that? Because my name been good. I've been good. I've been giving out book bags way before R. Kelly. Everybody know me. I do. Hey, look, man, you think you're going to ride around in the Porsche from the 80s bags. and don't nobody know you? People don't even like the immigrants. You hey, look, man, I'm all out here. You should have sold that shit and paid the light bill. Hey, look, I'm all out here. How you going to be out here looking for somebody and somebody hey, looking look. out for you? Hey, look, I'm in the same house. You not. Debo. Yeah, that Debo. sucks. I know. So, I know. Turn the camera on. I'm turn in the camera. Hey, look. Turn how many times on. have you moved turn the house turn the to house? Turn the how many times on. have you moved in the turn shit? The camera on. Hey, look, man. The camera was just on. Turn it on again. The camera was just on. Had it on the floor. Hey, look. Turn, turn your camera on. on. Walk out your room. I'm turn mine on and walk out mine. Hey, look. Turn your camera on. Walk out your room, and I'm gonna turn mine on and walk out mine. My camera. That's a big difference. Look at that, y'all. That's a big difference. No camera on, walk out your room, and I'm going to turn. Look at that. It's a big difference from that mansion you was over there squatting in. It's a big difference from that mansion that you were squatting in. Talking about who paying the bills. Who receiving the check for that disabled child? That's that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Man on and walk out, man. My camera is on. Turn yours on. My camera on, too. No, it ain't. Where is it? Yeah. Turn that But you want to stop. Really white. You want to stop. You want to stop. <laughs> you want to stop. You want to stop. You still not being being careful. I did cut it on. I just walked out in the dark. You still not being being careful. No matter how many ways you cut it. I did. On my life, I cut it on. No, you didn't. Turn the light on. Them, you you still road. not being being careful. Turn the light on. We see the roaches. I did. <laughs> Ain't no roaches in this house. Let us see. Let us hey, look. see. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look, Larry. It oh been a few rats. Hey, hey, look. It's been a few roaches. It never been no rats in this house. <laughs> it never been no rats in this house, though. You little red bastard. You little red bastard. A few roaches, but never been no rats in this house. You wrote, so you got roaches. Uh, hey, I'm just telling you that that, that will sound good to you. <laughs> if that will sound good to you, a few roaches, but never been arrested in this house. There ain't never been arrested in this house. A few roaches ain't never been arrested in this house. You got it, bro. You got it. You got yeah. It, yeah, you got it. A few roaches ain't never been arrested in this house. You got it, bro. That's a little Wayne for all you little slow ass people in the chat. You got it, bro. That's a little Wayne for all you little slow ass people in the chat. Up, hey, bro. you think you being me and Cabo? Hold up, bro. You trying to you trying to get on the internet and, and make yourself being me and Cabo? Man, being me and Cabo had too many. Uh, too many Kevo what? Different he didn't rat on nobody like you. Man, man, Cabo was dropping checks into people's accounts. And what? That. That's and what? Old. That's old. And, and what? So why would why would Cash need it. you if Ben Man Cabo fucking his sister? Why act he need you? Mama. Act as baby mama. Hey, Goofy, Goofy, baby turn. Act, hey, bro. look, Goofy, turn me cracking cars, and now he acting like he real. Yeah, you want to be so street, but you not really in the field. Heard you got them stacks, little nigga, but you hiding in the heat. You know what? One thing about you can me catch me Bam on the Bam corner Bam. getting it popping like some pill. You know what? Me and Bad Man we had Kevo had in common. We you ain't had never had nothing in common with Bad Man Kevo. You ran up out of here like him. You ran up out Chicago like him. What? They was going to kidnap you, bro. I heard them conversations. Objective. They were telling me, man, I promise you. They like, man, this nigga think he been me and Kevo. We going to kidnap this nigga and fuck him over. For, then for you three, ran to Atlanta for, for seven years. Hey, look, man, you got to the hell up for out of seven, here. For seven you burn years. rubber. You for burn rubber years. up out of here. Hey, you didn't want that smoke. You knew them niggas. Hey, hey look, 
Ben Man Kevo, everything he did, he did it with a business way. He put niggas on. You tried to spoon feed niggas. They was going to kidnap you. You ran to Atlanta like a bitch. You was scared. They was going to kidnap you and fuck you over. They already had it planned. When that nigga Cash went down there and fucked with you, that was only because you had the CPN numbers cheaper. You had them cheaper. You had them cheaper. You had them for fifteen hundred dollars. Everybody else was paying twenty five. You had them for fifteen hundred dollars. Everybody else was paying twenty five. He wasn't the only nigga that rolled down there to get the CPN from you. Your bitch ass got rent out of Chicago. Ben Man Kevo went gonna break down this motherfucking price. Ben Man Kevo went gonna break down this price. You ain't Hey look. Hey look. I got the cars and I. Hey look. I got the cars and I ain't do shit. I got the card, three hundred a wop, and I ain't do shit. Three hundred dollars a wop, a card. I ain't did shit. I'm cool with that. I don't need enough. You go eat. You go eat. This, this my sad hustle. I'm did a working you get a man. Lot of cards, um, Debo, because I don't know what y'all talking about. But did you get a lot of? Hey look, cards? hey look. I get, I, I get, hey, hey, Miss Walker. I get about five envelopes. Oh, okay. That's three hundred dollars an envelope. Yeah, I could have got more. But what do I need it for? Oh, you think you're going to build a case? You can't build a case for some shit 16 years ago, you little informant bitch. Who Keep me? trying. Keep who trying. Think, who you think sent the envelopes? You didn't send them. Ben Man and Kevo sent them, nigga. You're right. not you Ben Man and Kevo. You need, you need to talk to him. You're you not to Ben Man and Kevo. You need, you need I pulled up on this nigga. I gave him. The, on, on. You know what? You know what? You the feds. I ain't telling you shit. You, you ain't saying a goddamn thing. Stop oh. lying. Stop lying. You're Shut not being man Kevo. Shut up for a second. You're not being man Kevo. Shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody yeah. answering your shit but the feds. Shut your weird ass up. No, I'm you got the feds. Is, is this your handler? Is that your handler? Is that your handler? Em embarrass the fuck out you. Is that the handler? You still ain't being man Kevo. Hey, y'all, go look up being man Kevo, and y'all will find out that this nigga been trying to. Steal this nigga style and make it him. You from Alabama. You not from no fucking Chicago, you fucking car thief. Talking about some, you just took the goddamn uh VIN number off and switch it. Nigga, man, you want me to read that shit? You don't want me to read that shit, Larry. You should don't make it. me read it. You should. Yeah. Read it now. Now. No, I'm gonna read it tomorrow for views. Okay. I'm gonna okay. read it tomorrow for views, right. I doubt it. And, and and then I'm gonna play your words. I'm gonna thought. play your words. I'm gonna play your words that that you took the van number off, nigga. What you out here doing? Contributing to the homicide rate, changing van number and strike a play, killing niggas. In what the fuck else you doing? What else you doing? What else you doing? What else you doing? You I told you, it. niggas you like you are the reason that the Chicago murder rate went up because you was a spineless nigga that did not feed the hood. You got what you could, and when them niggas got on your ass, you ran your ass to the woods in Atlanta. And then when you couldn't handle hey, Atlanta, hey. you hid your ass in Las Vegas. Then you fucked that nigga over and snitched on him. Well, what about You've been fucking other niggas other over people everywhere people you went. You hey, anybody in about. Chicago know who you is. You're weird. People in well, Chicago you, know who you, you is. Well, why you can't get them on your channel? Why you because can't you are, Hey, look. Why? Getting somebody on my channel to prove a point to a federal employment ain't the top priority of my day. I got the wife on here to talk about your dinner. I got the wife on here dinner. I got the wife on here though dinner. I got Adam Marina wife on here dinner. You want me to get more people so you can say you've been harassed. You want more people. So when I go get more people, you're going to be saying you harass. When I go get more people to talk about your bitch ass being a fucking rat, you're going to go get more police reports. You should go get them. Where is Dana? You should go get them. I'm not going to sit up here and wake my house up. You screaming and shit. So when you able to have. Go wake your. Hey, look. Hey, look. So when go you wake a motherfucker up. up. And nah, let us see what you pay for. I ain't, I ain't no let us see what you pay for. I ain't no deadbeat. Oh, stop. I ain't you. Uh-huh. No deadbeat. Uh-huh. They gotta go to school. You so deadbeat. so I just lay up all You're day. Dead. That's all you do. All day. Just lay and up. And think about me. And just think about you. you and cry. A federal informant. 
and cry. They got they owe the government five years of his and, life and cry. Well, and Debo, cry. Debo, can you have a can you do you really believe that? Can you have a normal conversation? Huh? No, he can't. You don't believe that. And can you cry. No, Debo? Debo, hold on. You think you, you being man careful? I'm gonna keep stressing that. You will never be Ben Man Kevo. You are a fake and a fraud. You tried to take Ben Man Kevo's story and make it your story. Ben Man Kevo was messing with Cash's sister. You are a liar and a fraud. Hold on. If you hadn't been out here talking about me, do you ever hear me talk about myself? Do you hear me ever talk about money? What can you say? All the niggas you set up along the way? I don't talk about you. I was that. nigga. I, I was didn't. getting money. I was doing this. I, don't, I, don't I was do that. doing that. I, I was doing do that. that. You weird, bro. You a was nigga. You worried about it. You a was nigga. You worried about it. I don't I give a, a fuck about it. I can't be in a relationship. I, with you. Only thing I, I give married. a fuck about I, is I, I, you trying you to attach yourself you to my me. dead homies. Is a wreck. You can't be with me. Why would I? Look, I got a target on you. Is a wreck. What's your big what's your big homie? Why say? would I want to be with a known rat? What's your big homie say? Hey, look, when you left and, and high ride had to take care of your family, your did you feel homie? like a man? What no whoa, 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 whoa. What? Yeah, let's talk about whoa, 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 it. Let's yeah, talk I, about I, hold on, hold yeah. on, Debo, hold on. Debo, Debo. Yeah. Let me let me let hold me clear that up right now. Yeah. I didn't uh-huh. say Larry. He told he made you say this shit. No, no I didn't. Let I me hear your written statement, high ride. Let me hear your written statement. Hold on, hold on. There's a victim of Oko. Let me hear. He jealous. I did jealous, not Rod. <laughs> I did not send his family, his his wife. Matter of fact, when Larry got out, Larry, um, you know, he was going through his transition. You, you did know, not money. send him what? You did Let not send him what? Let him money. talk. Let him talk. You didn't. You no. didn't send him money when he was in jail. No. No, you didn't send his wife money when he was when he was in jail. No, nope. no, you liar. You ugly. Where did you liar. send the money to? You, you ugly, long faced motherfucker. Where did Tell you send him. the money to? Tell him. Hey, you, you stuttering. Hold on, shut your bitch ass up. You ugly, ugly. Oh, hey, hey. coward. Where, 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 where did you say it then? What did you say, Hot Rod? I was, I was going through a, 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 a terrible time when he went when he went in. Nah, tell him. Oh, hold on, hold on. I was going through a terrible time that I had to get through. By myself, I did not send Larry and and his wife, his family, not one dime of my money because I needed. So, so you never money. told me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I never sent Larry or his wife not one book. That That's he all needed. me. That's all me, right? Okay, there. well, Larry, well, with that being said, let me let me tell you what 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 no, High Rod told me. No, no, don't matter what he told you. Just High Rod right told there. me it look do right matter there. because I'm not a liar. Look at this right here. High Rod told, told man, nobody give a fuck about that. Look at that right there. High Rod told me, man, you know, Larry and Jill. I hope y'all learning from that nigga tell everybody business. They all right, all right. Don't have a nigga come over your house. He's gonna tell your business. Don't have that nigga around. You know what? You right. I ain't gonna even tell his business. No. You know what? You right. I know I don't have that nigga around. I ain't gonna even do it, bro. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna even do it. I ain't gonna even do it. I ain't gonna do it. No, I ain't gonna do it. You I'm gonna let him get it. I'm gonna let him shine. I'm gonna let him shine. Hold on. The reason why you ain't gonna do it. Because I've never talked to you about Larry and his Right, wife. okay, well, let me do it then. Let me say oh, it without, it. Being, without it. being interrupted. Do it, do it. Oh. I remember you telling me, man, I've been looking out for Larry and his wife since he's been locked up. And I told you, why the fuck would you be looking out for him and his wife? And you said, That's a lie. man, huh? That's a lie. Okay. That's a liar, a liar. These, these liar. Debo, Debo, I'm telling you, and you know what you part know, of it was a lie. You know, Just tell me what, on, tell me what you part know, of it was a lie, like so I can know, cause I, you know, my you memory know, ain't you, all the way that you good. Know, you know, you know, I like you. No, you that's a liar. Ugly no, ass shut ass your bitch ass, ass up, bro. That, 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 that's, that's a, a liar. liar. No, a no, I would never say it if it was a lie. I never, I never sat back and said anything. I was like, what I did say to you. No, why don't you shut up, Larry? What I did say to you, I said, that's like three lies we've been called in. I promise to God the man told me that. That's like three lies. Then, then you, we ain't worshiping the same God then. Yeah. On my mama, you told me that. 
I swear to God, you told me you were sending his wife money. And I told you when you told me that, I, I said, you should. I swear to God, yeah, bro, when you told me, you, why don't you let me talk? Else, hey, look, I'm going to let you That's room. why I said, I'm going to let, let you have it. I'm going to let you have it. Because y'all wouldn't even let me talk. I'm going to let you have it. I don't got to argue the truth. That's somebody else talk. Hold on. That's somebody else talk. That's why I see. Look, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me clear this up. If I was in jail and, and Hot Rod would have had the money, if he wasn't going through that, I'm pretty sure he would have. So you never see that Hot Rod oh, said your. Damn, you, shut the fuck oh, up. But so you never. I'm about to say, and you never see you it yourself said that Hot Rod you sent your family money. You said your. Hey, Hot Rod, this nigga already money. said you sent his family money. Oh, so why you lying? Bro. Nigga, hey. he didn't. I didn't. I don't never talk about what people hey, do. Hey, 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 Hot Rod. This nigga said out his own mouth. No, the fuck. I, I got the recording. Ass, nigga. This why. Look. Hot Rod. This you come you never house. said whatever he look, sent me. He looked out for hot, hot Rod. That's why I'm going to talk. Around, hot Rod. This nigga go come ahead. around you. It's a record on you. Everything you say and everything you do, your house, everything, all that shit is just it's good. It's like a record. Man, I don't even try okay. to hot, kick it with Hot Rod. Yeah, I don't. I don't even try to. You would. I'm not impressed by yeah. goofy hot, shit. Uh, uh, Niggas that's impressed by informants. If I wanted to kick talk. it with Hot Rod, I would. Ain't nobody you, talk. If, hey, ain't think about it. Talk. I pulled ain't up on that talk. nigga. I didn't you have to. You worried about me. Because I, to, cause I, cause Man, I told him. Man, don't worry about your lies and correcting them. Don't worry about your lies and correcting them. I got no lies because I don't talk to you. Like I said, Hot Rod told me he was sending money to your wife. When he told me. He didn't tell you that. He just said he didn't tell you that. So you lie. Hold on, Larry, Larry, Larry. Debo, listen. Larry, can you sit back and tell them, before you went to prison, how mm -hmm. much money was I donating to uh, to your channel? A couple of hundred dollars. Okay. That's and that's when, I, that's when we had this conversation. Like, shut the fuck up, man. He talking. So don't make it seem like I made this up. No, you said when I went to jail. That's when you was you on your way, no whatever, how no, it went, said, he told me he was giving went. you money, yeah, and I told him up. you should fuck his wife. Yeah, then yeah, I, then no, I high no, ride. No, you then didn't. I tell you, no, you didn't. I no, swear you didn't. to God, I did. Uh, Larry, hold on. Don't, hold, don't, don't do that, Larry. Like don't that. do that. Don't do that, Larry. Yeah, fast forward. Every no, other no. day, nigga, talking to my wife. I don't talk about that fat motherfucker over there. Hey, Larry, don't talk about that, that man, uh, baby mama. Hold on. Talk about my wife. Y'all need to chill for a minute. All right, go on and say what you got to say. Debo. Even if she fat, it's Debo. all real. Debo. It ain't nothing fat on Debo. We should be quiet. Debo. Um, be quiet with the I, 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 I understand. I could take her to Synchrony Bank and get that shit straight. The, I can understand that. I, I can go get a number and get that shit you, straight you, at Synchrony Bank. You can do everything. Never, you talking about? Do I can go to Synchrony Bank. Everything. I can sit on my ass. I can sit on my ass. Get some nigga that. in jail Debo, fucking Debo, information and go get him. Body fix that Synchrony Bank. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? Yeah, nigga, you still owe the government. You still owe the government. I don't owe them shit. You owe the government. I don't. I don't. I don't you about to walk a fine me. line playing on the internet know. with me. You gonna know. walk a fine line. Hey, tighten up, soldier. Tighten up, soldier. You about to walk a fine hey, line, boy. Call the police. Hey, boy. Hey, you about to fine. Hey, you about to walk a fine line, boy. Hold on. No. Call him. Hey. Calm down, Debo. Calm down. I don't need to call him. Yeah, cry oh, baby. Calm down. I make moves. I make other moves. I don't need to call. Call him, cry baby. It's going to get done. Call him, cry baby. Okay. Do it, do it look like I'm worried about it. Huh? You, you was worried about it when they was calling your pre-trial. No, I wasn't. You was crying no, to the I judge. Wasn't. No, your honor, I your honor, no, I, I cooperated in a timely fashion. I cooperated in a timely fashion. I'm sorry for the stress I put on my family. I'm sorry for the stress I put on myself. I'm sorry for the stress I put on my family, your honor. And I'm sorry for the stress I put on myself. Who's that right there? I don't know who the fuck that is. That's good That's Some cocksuckers. Some cocksuckers. Where you at? Where you at? That's right there. You see me? A rat. A hey, red. Steve? It's, a, it's a red in every crew. It's a red in every crew. You G-money ass nigga. You a G-money ass nigga. God damn it.
You a was nigga. I was doing this. I was doing that. Them niggas won't stand next to you right now. Where your picture? You a rat. Where your picture? Yeah, y'all do know that it's okay to have a a a past. So there is gonna be some was in your life. I don't. Yeah, but not a not a was nigga that read it. When you a woods no, nigga that read it, you erase. Look, look. When you a woods nigga that read it, you erase everything. When you a woods nigga that read it, you erase everything. You erase everything when you read it. Your resume is denied. You a woods nigga, period. You a woods nigga that read it. Do you think I ever stay in jail one day and not longer than right? The same old niggas that had it. Be the same old niggas that read it. I don't love white people like you do, nigga. You can't love no white person like me. You can't even sit down at the at the table with a white person unless you're working for the government. I don't love them like you. You can't even sit down with them unless you're working for the government. Well, hey, 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 Debo, I can't say this. Debo, I can't say this. Whoever was calling in on his pre-trial, mm -hmm. help them. They about to be calling his probation officer. No, no. Help uh -huh. them. I, I don't know why. Y'all got to call. Do it. Do all this stuff. This is crazy. Why? Hey, look. Why, why, why go hey, you know, you know what your, what you your probation call. officer told me? Call him back when I have my police report. Your agent told me to call him back when I have the police report. Now, remember, I said, your agent told me to call him back when I have the police report. You have been on the internet. Cyber stalking and harassing T Bay. That police report will be filed. Then I have a reason to call him with the police report. Uh, the same rights that's afforded to Becky and others is the same rights that's afforded to me. Now, in my absence, I have witnessed. Some of the most derogatory things being said, uh, being done. But let's let's check out some of this stuff. You say anything, and I've seen this go on for the last five plus years, where people will just say anything. All things are subject to interpretation. We know that. However, what I'm about to show you is not subject to interpretation. And I want to know Ms. Walker's take on what I'm about to show. Because I'll say it. That animal, yeah, that animal that sits in a Will County jail tonight if he's allowed out, I want him to see this video. And I'm going to leave it up there for him to see. I don't acknowledge him. I don't respond to him. But for the last six, seven, eight months, he's been, you know, attacking and attacking. And I'm like, nigga, you're just a nobody. I said to someone three, four months ago, I said, look, man. That animal right there is tailor-made for prison. That animal right there cannot even cope in normal society. If y'all go back to the live when I was speaking with Brother uh, Hot Rod, and I said to Brother Hot Rod, I said, he asked me, why do you want to see him in prison? And I told Brother Hot Rod straight up, because animals belong in a goddamn prison. When you're not able to conduct yourself in a civilized manner, in civilized society, they have a place for you. Period. I'll get back to that in a minute. I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all something. What, what's really going on? Since these people want to uh, pontificate, uh, speculate, let me show you what's really 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 going on one second you guys i want to show you all this that way you ain't gotta you know <laughs> you ain't gotta guess you feel me i'm telling you what it is and i'm showing you what it is now 
Here's the deal. Let me go back to the other screen. Let me blow this up. Let me blow this up. Boom. Blow it up again. Boom. All right. Here we go. Now, hopefully you guys can see this very well. <clears throat> How you doing, Miss Angie, Veronica, Blessed, Ty, Margaret, and those of you who are in attendance? I'm not going to be long. I have to be up actually in a few hours, but I figure I'll come on here and break this down. And yes, I called Miss Angie's name because I'm going to be honest with you, Miss Angie. And I know you're going to cuss me out, but I'm going to be honest with you. You know me. I don't pull no punches. That animal terrorist super fan is in prison, is in that uh, 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 county jail right now because of those who have continued to embolden him, because of those who have witnessed his dysfunctionality, his uncivilized behavior. Well, Miss Angie may say, what are you talking about? He hasn't done uh anything other than what other people have done on YouTube. That's not true. Absolutely not true. The man makes death threats. Show me one person on YouTube in this whole R. Kelly YouTube sector from the Oak Cove side to the R. Kelly side that has literally gone on social media on Miss Walker's channel on her page and said, I'm going to have, if I find out that he knew what, was Le what Levi was doing, I'm going to have him beaten to death in a federal goddamn prison. When that was said, right, I knew it would get back to R. Kelly. And it did. And I knew that I had conversations with R. Kelly several times. Some I admit to, some I don't admit to. You know how this go. Remember when he used to say the game is to be sold, not told, and we don't know nothing? Now on his YouTube platform, he knows everything, don't he? Don't. I knew that that presumption of a threat would be relayed to Uncle Ra. You put out rat poison for a rat. You put out cheese for a rat. I put out what I knew people would carry back to the messenger, uh, to the sender. Uh, to the individual that the message needed to be received by. And I knew that he would say, why is the Boski saying these things, feeling this way? You ain't got another phone call, did you? You ain't got a damn another phone call. Everybody, did anybody notice that? I didn't have to write Uncle Rob and tell him what I knew of you, what I have seen you display on the internet. I'm a solid individual, one that he respected enough to acknowledge, call. I was one of the first people to get a call on live. A call that people said was fake and then said it was real. I knew that when I said what I said, it would be delivered 
And I knew that once it was delivered because I was not willing to reach out myself, knowing that I have moves that I have to make to resuscitate my namesake and my supporters and subscribers namesake. So I didn't want to get into a situation where I would muddy the waters or have an attachment that would make his situation worse or uh, my situation worse. So I just backed off. I knew I could have wrote a letter and explained everything, but I knew that saying what I said would expedite my message. It got to Jennifer Bungeen. It got to R. Kelly. And we have not seen you with another phone call. No. And that is when I processed it, this situation in a different way. And I had to go back and listen to when R. Kelly said, I have this guy. He's something like, something like my cousin. Not my cousin. Something like. And he also said in the same breath, I would take help from a roach. When talking about you. And then I pieced it together that the actions you portray on social media is the actions of your own. It it's, has nothing to do uh, with the narrative that you created, that R. Kelly supported you in your endeavors of trying to get supporters locked up, uh, trying to paint people as terrorists, trying to cyberstalk uh, anyone that didn't agree with your terminology or uh, terms, uh, you know. And that went through the ringer and came out through the watch. When you do things like what you see on the screen, with the commentary that you add with it, you may not see anything wrong with those actions. But if you've seen, uh, situations that I have been through and you look at your own actions, if you compare the situations that I've been through with your own actions that, that you are displaying, which one is worse? Maybe you feel you above the law. Maybe you feel uh, if you cyber stalk me or cyber harass me, it don't count because you feel uh, I'm an animal. I'm a terrorist. I threaten everybody. So your actions is immune to being scrutinized by law enforcement. Your actions is everything that you get on YouTube and say about other people. When you take the time to reach out to people that's with law enforcement and record them concerning me and play it on social media. When you take the time to look up uh, minor situations and bring it to your page when you have over 15,000 subscribers and create narratives like I'm not a father, not a working man, not a uh, sane individual. Those type of narratives create hostile situations for me and my family. And you may not think that I'm afforded the same law that you on YouTube trying to enforce on everybody else. 
but I'm afforded the same rights to invoke those same laws on people like you. Let's go to uh, what's this? Reasoning, logic, you understand, and truth, truth, mistruth. If you were on Miss Walker's paddle and he came in and said, Oh, that's truth, that whore, that throwaway. What? What you what you what you what you mean? You're Robert Keller's whore. You're a throwaway to, to, to Miss Truth. Moments later, you on there laughing with him. <laughs> Why'd you say that? <laughs> <laughs> laughing and joking with this despotic motherfucker. Truth, would your man agree with that? Or would your man, as he observed it, said, wait a minute, and push pause. Would he hit pause on the thing? <laughs> When he puts pause on a video and say, wait, is this, is this motherfucker retarded? Uh, wait a minute, is she retarded? You feel me? He might have to leave you and get the hell away from you. You sitting there laughing with some motherfucker, death spot, low life, sociopathic, broke ass nigga that can fucking degrade and, and disrespect you in such a manner. And you sitting there laughing with him. He, if he had any sense, he'd pack his shit. I don't give a damn if the house is in his name or not. See, I'm that kind of nigga. He, I pay the house note and everything, but I'm out. I ain't dealing with no crazy ass woman like that. Now, I asked I ask you a question. I think it answers, in all honesty. And refutes what you just said. Only a retarded, crazy motherfucking woman or man, well, especially a woman, will sit there and laugh with a despotic lowlife like that after they've insulted her in such a way where they've called her a whore. Get out of here with that, man. Let me put this thing on the thing real quick so y'all can see, so I can bring y'all up to speed. I don't want to prolong this. I'm supposed to be taking my baby to get some ice cream when she gets out and, and whatnot, the little baby. And uh, But I want to bring you guys up to speed real quick. What little baby do you have at, at in, in your 60s? Would it be the little babies that's in your secretary's daycare? Because all your kids are grown. It amazes me that people think because of gender, you afforded something more than the other gender. Do you think if I need a heart transplant, I'm going to say, she can't operate on me. She's a woman. She's a woman. I need a man to operate on me. A woman can't operate on me. She don't have no sense. She don't know what's going on. Whatever a man can do, a woman can do. So why would your gender make you any more than the next gender? The rights that's afforded to a man should be afforded to a woman. Whatever a man can do, a woman can do. So why would I get on here and profess myself to you and say, hey, I don't disrespect women, but I disrespect men? I disrespect men? I would disrespect anyone that disrespects me. It is not something that I'm proud of, but it's just the truth. But you get on here and, and you profess yourself as a person that would not disrespect the other gender.
But here at the Enterprise, we find that to be a lie. One, uh, I want to say that Team Truth, Larry, y'all on the other side, you're definitely on the other side, which makes y'all the opposition. But it doesn't make y'all the enemy. The opposition is the opposition. The opposition, you get in the courtroom with defense attorneys and prosecutors and trying to leave the courtroom, they shake hands. On the football field, baseball field, at the end of the game, they shake hands. When it comes to the exoneration of my cousin and my uh, 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 objectives and my feelings as it relates to him, I can separate that from the opposition and I can separate that from straight up enemy who have infiltrated the so called R. Kelly supporters. Mr. One Dollar for Fraud, Sam Mask Man Larry is not an edit the one king you in. Now I feel that they, because they gave a good bullshit ass, fake ass rally with a few people, the niggas ain't used to shit. They just thought they were fucking superstars and shit, bro. And if you listen to the Bolsky, he said, I ain't gonna no name no name, I ain't gonna do the name thing, but you listen to the Dollar General, he said it several times in his videos. He said, when we got on the party bus, I told everybody to turn their phones off. And he tried to play it off and say, well, we were discussing the, 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 the case. Bullshit. The nigga said that that poll on that party bus, females was using it. And he said he started to start throwing money at, at Adam. He said, I started to start, start throwing money at their ass. They were on that party bus fucking colleagues. Tripping, fucking, bunch of ratchet ass, middle aged and older hood rats and shit. That's what they are, hood rats and shit. I guess black women who come together to utilize their First Amendment right is hood rats and shit. To you. I guess you don't count that as disrespecting women. I know that the booties I saw was real, the, the, the breasts I saw was real, the feminality I saw was real, like a woman. But I, I guess in your mind, they're not women. And that state of mind is something that I'm telling y'all, you're going to be reading about in about two weeks. Now, we all know you have said that uh, you are not Gregory Levi Stubbs. We all know this. But I picked up paperwork from the courthouse, paid for by a credit card of Gregory Levi Stubbs, right outside of Michigan. And if you're not Gregory Levi Stubbs, then you would be committing fraudulent activity. And I doubt a man like you would be committing fraudulent activity, so I take it that you are Gregory Levi Stubbs. But hey, with the paperwork that's going to drop, the U.S. Marshals know who you are. They'll find out who you are up top. And they will uh, be contacting you shortly. See, there are things that I have came on here and discussed as far as uh, the federal situation that I went through. But there are some things I did not discuss because I knew I was talking to people 
that didn't even understand what they had done by arresting me because they only concern was R. Kelly, R. Kelly, R. Kelly. But they fail to realize the federal government went after people that spoke out on the debacle that they seen taking place with R. Kelly. And the form in ways that you have got on YouTube and propagandized, painting people as terrorists, whores, uh, low lifes, uneducated. I went from being the gentleman in Bolingbrook to the terrorists in Bolingbrook. I am a man that believed that there is only one God and that Muhammad was his final servant and messenger, which makes me a Muslim. And to be called a terrorist repeatedly by the likes of a bottom city drunk is something that I endured and carried sturdy. See, when you look up the word sturdy, it would explain to you what a person like me really is. I, I see uh, the masked man over there saying he gonna contact uh, pre-trial and, and, and all of this shit. I made my pre-trial aware of Levi Gregory Stubbs as well as the masked man uh, who came on the internet in a ski mask threatening people that wanted to utilize their First Amendment right to gather peacefully and assemble peacefully and protest things that they did not agree with taking place in a country, a country of people that legislate the laws. This is not a country of laws. This is a country of people free people, free thinkers, and everything like that. So, you know, the enterprise that told me way early, they said, hey, I know you don't listen to everything that we tell you, I try to suggest to you, but make sure you let your pretrial and your lawyer and others know about people like y'all. Not only have they been notified about people like y'all. But in two weeks, paperwork is going to drop federally for everything that I went through, being falsely detained, falsely arrested. I never admitted guilt in any way, shape, or form uh, when I was charged with being an R. Kelly superfan. I never uh, agreed not to seek compensation for the situation that I went through. I maintained my innocence the whole way through. And that is going to be shown undisputedly within two weeks. And uh, several people is going to get an opportunity to uh, break it down, read it, and, and, and check it out. Uh, it will be filed in New York as well as Chicago, uh, whichever one that they approve. You know, hopefully, you know, we get home court. You know, I would like to have it here in Chicago. Uh, that's my goal. But if, you know, the jurisdiction issues uh, bring it to New York, then so be it. It'll be in New York. But I'm hoping that uh, by me never having to, 
go to New York during the situation that it would be jurisdictional uh, to Chicago. And uh, it doesn't matter which, whichever uh, place that they say that they're going to accept it at, it will be found. Uh, for people that have been on the internet saying that I threatened federal prosecutors repeatedly uh, that involved themselves in my case, uh, they would have an opportunity to stand on the defamation of that because I never threatened any federal prosecutors, uh, even with my current situation, you know. Uh, it, it's just not in me to feel that if I have to disagree with someone that I have to threaten. Now, if you are someone that will get on the internet and say that you'll flip a table on me, which you said that you would do when we gathered for the Last Supper, if you're someone that's saying that I can't utilize my First Amendment right over your dead mother's grave, if you are someone who cooperate with the federal government and while cooperating with the federal government, use your YouTube channel that the federal government acknowledge is uh, part of your work to give you a departed sentence for your actions and the crimes that you chose to commit. Not crimes of expressing yourself, not crimes of your opinion, crimes of defrauding incarcerated individuals to live a lavish lifestyle with a woman who body you pay for and brag on the receipt on it. We can't uh, forget that when you talk about your daughter thinking somebody saw them having your daughter and all this stuff. You can't forget that this woman is a grown woman, able to buy liquor, able to live on her own, able to make her own decisions. And not only is that woman able to do all of those things, but that woman do not share the same blood as you. So when you get on the internet and paint her as you, your daughter, that's just a feeling. It is not the reality of the situation. But again, I'm sturdy with this shit, man. I'm sturdy with this shit. I'm sturdy. I know that they didn't like 30 rounds, but let's, let's look at sturdy. Sturdy is a dark, strong, mythological, uh, what a mythical man with a strange mind. He has been known to break into elderly people's home late at night, wake them up undressed. Where did this come from? This is crazy. Let's go to a real sturdy. Because I don't know what the hell that was. Sturdy. Sturdy is an objective that typically describes something or someone that's strong, solid, durable, resilient, or robust. It implies that the subject is able to withstand pressure, heavy use, or harsh conditions without easily breaking, collapsing, or becoming damaged. You see that? Look at that. That describes me. And that describes a lot of people that I've been in this fight with. We all sturdy individuals. The way we've been carrying this whole situation, we all sturdy individuals. I will be making sturdy t shirts. Uh, and the money for these t shirts to go towards, you know, my legal endeavors and things of that nature. So make sure that you uh, support my cash app, support my PayPal, 
in uh in the coming weeks after my uh cover letter that you've seen is filed in federal court you'll be able to buy the sturdy shirts that's been to come uh it's study study is uh some shirts that's gonna come on study and there's gonna be some shirts that's coming on sturdy and those are two words that i'm going to be carrying throughout the rest of 2024. we are sturdy individuals mo body uh, yellow nari t baby uh leslie wherever you at foxy chocolate queen e miss white vet we all sturdy individuals solid durable not easily to break collapse i become damaged we sturdy individuals and we've been carrying ourselves as sturdy individuals for the last four years we made history we didn't just talk the talk we walked the walk of individuals who had the right to utilize their First Amendment and utilize that right several times peacefully. Then nobody died at our protest. Then nobody get hurt at our protest. We came, we did it, we left. Every time, multiple times, in different states. We carried it sturdy. We stood on what we believed. We was put underneath harsh conditions. We was put underneath heavy use. We was put under pressure. We did not break. We did not collapse. We was not damaged. We sturdy individuals. I'm gonna bury 30 rounds. And I'm coming with this 30. I'm coming with this 30. It's still 30 rounds regardless. But we coming with this 30 though. We coming with this 30. Just to, just to put it where they can't uh, take something that we say is a metaphor and switch it to their own narrative to make us terrorists, to make us unintelligent, to make us threatening. I'm just gonna put it in, in, in simple context, sturdy. We sturdy. I uh, don't understand why uh after larry said he wouldn't talk about me and i only need him for content that he would take the time in my absence to speak about me repeatedly i don't understand why uh dude who went and got his mama for police reports would speak on me i don't know why uh Levi feel that, you know, somewhere uh, along the way, he, he's Becky's husband. And whatever happened to Becky, he, he need to be the knight in shiny armor for Becky. Uh, obviously, Becky is not your regular citizen uh, with the things that she has got expedited. So I don't think Becky needs your help. I don't think Becky needs cheerleaders. I don't think Becky need uh, people on YouTube being overly concerned with uh, her situation. But hey, you have these people on YouTube self-appointing themselves to the law enforcement. You have Larry who feel that since he cooperated with the law, it makes him the law. And it's, it's, just, it's just becoming a uh, sick episode from people that that's like older than me all these people are older than me and it's just ridiculous the behavior that because you have. said that he don't need it he has millionaires and did i say that audra? did i say that audra did i say that you said so I, 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 I listen sorry listen. I, I, at this point 
we have to just let her talk, but good luck with that, Robert Keller. Good luck. Oh, I got, I got. Don't ever get into an argument. Let her win. But listen, Happy Happy life. Life. Happy Happy life. Life. Audrey, you don't have no advice one. for Keller. You couldn't pull him on his on your best day. Like stay oh in your lane. That's no your advice. Oh you think you want to man? We, we you think don't think somebody want to share man? The same Hold reality. You think somebody want to share man? Hold on, Audrey. Can you can you hold the lies down for a minute? You know what that means. The lies. Can you hold it down, like, oh. like be the one in control of the live for a minute? I'm here too, I'm, man. Man. I'm still in the back. I'll hold it down. Fuck that. I'm still oh, the, yeah. te the teacher said Audra is going to come to the front of the room and, and conduct the class. So you got to say Like me and Cookie was doing last night when you uh, <laughs> was arguing with me. Nobody. When you are, you, you ain't supposed to. You don't, you don't have to mute okay. nobody. I'm just no, saying, no, everybody no. knows them. Yeah, you I'm going to say like, I'm If I recall, he said, "No, I don't want it to appear that I'm asking people." I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I recall I Wax saying he did say that. He did say okay. that. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. For money, and if people want to be helpful to him, that is the way that they. Wax did say material for the purposes of research. That's not illegal for them, but it would be illegal for everybody else, and that's how you start the. No, 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 Audra, listen, let her talk, let her talk. Audra, let her speak, let her speak. When, when so you first came on. Stop playing games. I don't say, just because you didn't say you was playing it for that reason, don't play them games with me. That's why you was playing You are in when, Hey, well, Levi, when you first came up, up here, you brought up the situation about when you wanted her to explain. Did I not tell you that you were going to herpes that didn't have nothing to do with her age. I always explained it in that light. Um, but 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 for me, and I just I just sent the link to Angie in the chat. It's the man that he got three hundred and sixty months. Oh, no, and it, link. And she, she was about to play, she was about to play something for all. Just so I don't want to interrupt that. Yeah, I know you. You don't. will never. You, you, you will out. never. You will never, ever, yeah, ever, yeah, ever, yeah, ever yeah. No be able to be able to bring up herpes and convince these people that R. Kelly should be doing thirty years because of little goddamn herpes. Count number one, why he's doing thirty years? I gotta go get it's twenty years and it's ten years. So it, it, pull, it, pull it up, Angie. Three hundred sixty I'm months. Right uh, it, honey. I'm looking right at it. Let me let me copy and paste. Okay. Y'all must see through the smoke screen, okay? If it were not for Jane on number five, they would have never. Matter of fact, let me let me say this. I gotta go get my baby, but let me say this. What she, what he's about to show, I want to ask y'all what he's about to show. If yeah, the federal government, no, 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 no. Let me say this to y'all. If the one, fed, listen, if the federal government charged American citizens for going out on a weekend, going to a hotel to a goddamn bar and having sex with someone and giving them herpes, what he's about to show y'all, you must ask yourself how many American citizens will be in a goddamn federal prison for transmitting herpes. This shit that he's showing y'all is According to you, Levi, the federal government is never wrong. According to you, Levi, if the federal government said it, then it must be true. According to you, Levi, the same thing the federal government said about R. Kelly that you're defending is the same thing you say about me. Run it after these niggas, giving them a few dollars, pitiful, low self esteem ass women, but the, the, the Dollar General himself said after. They got on that party bus. He told everybody to turn their motherfucking phones off and let the fun begin. The Dollar General, the midget beaten woman, came there to fuck. A lot of people 
This is how a miserable old man act, the one that is handicapped that can only feel from the waist up. I believe everyone on that party bus we're adults and has the right to do whatever they want to do. So Mr. Dollar for fraud, do I detect some jealousy here because certain things are not working in your area? Are you upset with the middle-aged Hudrid women, because they're not contributing to your dollar for the fraud? You're so angry, but it's not about Kells it's about the money. You state that you're all for the females, you belittle the females they went out to support you're supposed to be cousin. So why are you talking this way Mr. Intelligent Man someone needs to wash your mouth out with soap? Sounds like somebody is not tucking due to some technical difficulties with their body parts. Ha ha. I will never deal with that man again or that little short ass nigga because they have been abusive to women. We, we didn't say nothing when they came at Asriel. We didn't say nothing when they came at Sylvia, Sylvia's daughter, and every fucking woman in this movement. We kept our mouths shut. But since they're coming at dawn, I'm cutting ties with them. Listen to me, sister, the father to the sister, don't sister. They said after the rally, there has been a redeem train. That's what they said. They said it's been a redeem train. They didn't say it's been a leadership train because they thought, because they rented a goddamn party bus for a couple of hundred dollars as the motherfucking hood rat, middle-aged women on there trying to fuck that they thought they was running some shit. But I'll say it again, there will be no... You're threatening people right to peacefully assemble, which is your First Amendment right. You get on YouTube and talk about being a scholar of the law. If we was the LGBT community and we said that we wanted to protest and you were saying exactly what you said, you would be in federal prison. But everything you said would be in federal paperwork. Your conduct that has been displayed over and over and over again is conduct that you're going to have to stand by shortly. So you can see it for yourself. That way you ain't saying Levi said this or Levi said that. And if you think that you thought you listened to a man that has an ounce of sympathy for this bastard, then I suggest you move on to fi and find a fool. Did you hear me? If you think you're listening to a man who is going to sympathize and empathize with what I'm about to show you, then you need to look past me. Because I'm real with this shit for real, nigga. You understand? Ain't no plan with me. I am serious as they come. Do you follow me? Now let me do this. Boom. Okay. And let me show y'all what this is all about. So you can read it for yourself. I ain't, I ain't, you know, I want no interpretations going on. Let's read it for yourself. Boom. All right. Okay, y'all, let me take this down. Like uh, Ty always tells me, take the thing down, leave after we, you know, all right. Now, when you read this, that's on the screen. It occurred today. This is breaking news. You heard me? And uh, what it says is clearly, it says that this despot punk-ass nigga that's been in solitary confinement for the last few weeks, he had a court date today. And he's doing everything in his power, begging the judge to let him out after he threatened that white woman juror in Joliet. Now, let's read what it says. It says, currently in custody of Will County Sheriff's, who was not transported to the jail today for the hearing due to the defendant having shingles. Write that word down. Shingles. Defendant. Now, keep in mind, this is why they have HIPAA laws. So people won't take your medical endeavors and go to social media and exploit them. For those who missed it, I'm going to show you again. Uh, I was using this deodorant underneath my arm. I don't know if y'all can see underneath that now. It don't look bad now. 
See how it look? It don't even look bad. Don't even look bad. But I had bumps underneath my arm from using this. They never took blood from me. They did an observation and you know, me being in their care, I went with their observation. I didn't agree with it, but I went with it. It led to me being on quarantine, which I was afforded a shower in my room. I never knew that a jail cell could be that big. Your jail cell is even bigger when a shower is put into it. So my jail cell had a shower in it. And I was able to take baths every day whenever I feel like in the middle of the night. You know what I mean? You wanna you wanna hit a lick real quick in the middle of the night. But uh I was uh you know in disciplinary so when I went to medical and I got a shower in my cell, I was pretty decent after that. And they hate, they got a TV right in front of your door, so I was pretty decent after that. Uh, you know, I said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Jail is something that I have experienced several times in life. It's not something that I'm proud of, but it is something that at certain times, I made the decision to go to jail. Yes, I did. Uh, but when you get older and you have people depending on you, you have children that's looking up to you. You can't do what you used to do. That is why uh, when people out here read my background and stuff, I'm, I'm finally at a point that I'm going to get that shit expunged off my record. I should have been got that shit expunged off my record. But it never stopped me from getting a job. I know how to drive a forklift. I know how to put motorcycles together. I got a little, uh, you know, shirts, hoodies that I don't even be on here putting one and one together because you see what these people are about. Stalking you, harassing you. Uh, even if I feel the way I feel about certain things. I want to apologize to anybody that uh, because I had a disagreement with you or because uh, your name come up with my name and people go harassing you, looking out for you that you never even seen in your life. All because they saw your name next to the Bosky gun. And they take it upon themselves to involve themselves. And whatever you had going on with me, I apologize for that. And I don't apologize for many things, but I apologize for that. Cause I know that that's that's something that go on a lot. That's something that go on a lot. I seen my my uh, my recent pictures. They never catch a good side, do they? Uh, today I just replay other people. Uh, situations. I won't be playing 
the grown little boy YouTube channel over here. I'm not about to play the strike game with you or any of that. Uh, I'm at a moment of peace in life. Uh, I've been through a lot of things. I I do find it I uh, that people are accusing me of things, false things. But if you ever notice, I never speak about those people. I wish those people the best. There's no way in hell D. Bolsky has the time to be going out my way to do anything to any of you at all. If you feel threatened by me, I can't hold your hand and rock you to sleep. You don't know me. I don't know you. More than likely, we will never see each other. We will never cross paths. There's no reason for you to feel threatened by me because I don't give a damn about you. I'm just telling you the truth. Uh... New shirts is about to be dropping. I hope that uh, people purchase the shirts. I'm gonna make sure that they uh, sturdy. Uh, I did want to be a part of the youth football team. But due to current situations, I was not able to meet those obligations. But I will be watching from the sideline. Again, I don't know uh, what part of jail excite people. It never excited me at all. If uh, I knew every law in the United States of America, I would never be in trouble. But I don't know every law in the United States of America. Because once you know all the state laws, you got federal laws. You will be surprised how many crimes you actually commit in a day. This is Mr. Due Process himself. Appreciate everybody that uh, chill with me these two hours and 24 minutes. Uh, I'm going to get back to making content. I got uh, some ideas I want to run by y'all. Of a few things that I've seen, a couple of things I want to revisit. I know that there's been a lot of things taking place in social media. I just seen that a guy was shot 96 times. 96 times. I'm hearing that this man got out of the vehicle after being shot and they shot him 40 more times. Uh, I seen some idiot put any freeze and his baby bottle because he didn't want to pay child support. Uh, I 
I do feel like sometimes you gotta, but sometimes you gotta speak up. Ain't nothing cool about jail. Because jail is a billion dollar industry that live off the backs of black people. It's a complex industry that will treat human beings as animals. It's nothing to be proud of in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and I just said that because I've seen so many people who have made content about me with their narrative and their understanding that they're entitled to have. And that's cool. But, uh, I'm not a celebrity. I'm just a person with his opinion. That's it. I know some people actually really do look at me in a celebrity form because I have seen it with my own eyes. But I never thought of myself as no celebrity. Even though, oh, he's cocky. Made all about himself. It went to his head. This is me every day. And my light shines so bright that you may feel threatened. Everybody enjoy their night. Now before I go, like every show, it's the same thing I must let you know. Stay busy. Stay cautious. Stay looking over your shoulders. Those goddamn informants. Everybody enjoy their night. Make sure you get that cash out. Make sure you support this channel. I'm standing on that. Uh It'll be good energy. I was just about to say that. It'll be good energy and good uh, content coming in the future, man. I push it past anything else. You know what I'm saying? I went through a horrific uh, arrest recently by the federal government. You know, there's, there's no way possible that I would want to go through something like that. And, and not recognize the effect that it had on my life. You know what I'm saying? For real. So make sure you uh, stay tuned because you've seen the uh, cover sheet. So it's about to drop. It'll be dropping very, very soon. Everybody enjoy it.